Hey everyone. So I wanted to do a little video so I can explain what my advanced project is and the idea behind it. It's basically a regenerative recipe book. And I kind of got the idea because every year when I'm sorting the seeds from the garden, I look at these things and I think what untapped potential they hold. What exponential potential for regeneration in people's health, for regeneration in the soil, and for breaking from dependence on large corporations to try to reconnect with the land as individual households and uh, take back our stewardship of the earth and responsibility for our ripple effects to it. So I thought about how I could create a medium in which that potential could be unlocked and then spread and I combined that with my passion for uh, culinary creations and so over the last couple of years I've been gathering recipes that some of them have roots in ancient cultures uh, ancient cultures that have offered us wisdom for permacultures such as the First Nation peoples of Canada and the United States and uh, the Mayan people and so I want to create a book that offers not only recipes that honor those cultures but a means to really engage and uh, connect with them through the senses so I want to include seeds with the book and you know in front of me here I have some red Russian kale seeds, I have some golden giant amaranth, now hundreds of seeds come from this tiny little frond alone. I got some heirloom corn painted mountain from the Colorado mountains, some squash from India, some uh, Hokkaido black soybeans from Japan, and some uh, heirloom runner beans here. Now these foods come from so many different cultures and continents and they hold the potential for dozens of households to begin taking steps to get off grid and live more healthily. So what I want to do is, is I want to connect these seeds onto every recipe book that I create as well as the knowledge and how to cultivate them such as with the three sisters with corn, squash and beans so people can not only increase the health of their lives but increase the health of the planet and in doing so also learn about the cultures which can teach us a lot about how to rebalance ourselves with mother nature. Now how is this regenerative? Well this is going to be a seed really. It's going to be figuratively a seed and literally involving seeds in the sense that it's going to give people the tools, the seeds, and the knowledge so that they can plant these seeds, cultivate them, and then save seeds from the resulting harvest, thereby perpetuating the cycle. And not only doing that, so not only providing food for themselves and increasing health and self-sufficiency, but also the knowledge so that they can take the leftovers from their kitchen, their yard waste, and any other organic material, compost it, and build soil in the process. So it's giving back to the earth, it's giving back to people, and it's giving back to the future. Whereas, in some cases, people could even take the time to develop their own regionally specific heirlooms, thereby adding genetic diversity and resiliency to our community as a whole. As I've heard described in many books recently, specifically in uh, Peter McCoy's Radical Mycology, if we want the principles of our movements to form a, a lasting effect on the world, we need to find a way to infuse those principles into culture, into forms of expression that stand the test of time. So part of this thing that I want to do is I want for our concepts of permaculture to become part of a culture that's part of a creativity that can stand the test of time. So a culinary culture where not only are we cultivating, which by the way is the root of the word culture, the root of the word culture is cultura, and the root of that colere, to cultivate. So we're getting back at the very roots of culture when we cultivate seeds in the ground and then we use the resulting abundance to create culinary things. And they can become the pillars of creative expression that we can pass on to future generations and also instill the knowledge that can help them live more regeneratively. So part of why I wanted to make this video is because I want to send out an open invitation to the community that anyone who has recipes that are the result of their permaculture gardening endeavors then when they found an abundance of a crop or they have a family uh, recipe that's passed down and they've been growing crops using permaculture principles and then using the harvest to make these recipes, I would love to include those recipes in my book and start to create the kind of a fabric of a permaculture culinary culture. So if any of you guys have recipes that are your personal favorites, family heirlooms, or something you just came up with uh, as a result of your gardening endeavors, please feel free to submit them 
and then I will uh, take a look at what seeds I have and see if they can fit into having at least one uh, seed to grow an ingredient for every recipe, which is another principle that's behind my book. Okay, so over the next few months, I'm going to be working on honing the recipes I already have, collecting new ones that I might have submitted to me or that I might find, and uh, creating the information that's part of the book that's going to offer people a hands-on solution to using kitchen waste to build soil, save seeds, and perpetuate the cycle. When I have that all pieced together in one place, then I'm going to begin launching a Kickstarter campaign it's where I can offer different tiers of involvement for people who want to be part of this. So I want to say thank you so much for everyone who's given me suggestions for this along the way as I presented this as a concept, and I look forward to working with you to making this regenerative idea a reality.